At first glance, the Nebulon B medical frigate from Star Wars is not a realistic spaceship. It's mainly designed to look cool, and for me personally, it does. As a military ship though, it looks very vulnerable, especially with its middle section which consists of a thin beam connecting two modules. However, by looking at my LEGO model of this ship, I came to realize that this seemingly impractical design has a striking resemblance to one of the most realistic spaceships in science fiction cinema, the Discovery 1 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Like the Nebulon B, Discovery 1 is also composed of two modules. One is a life support module, which houses the crew, and the other one is a propulsion system module that contains the engines and a nuclear reactor. And just like in the case of Nebulon B, these two modules are connected by a long, thin beam. Why? The idea behind this design is to reduce the radiation exposure the crew receives from an active nuclear reactor at the back of the ship, because as the inverse square law predicts, radiation intensity decreases rapidly with distance. This principle is one of the main guidelines behind ship design in a realistic 2016 space warfare simulator called Children of a Dead Earth. The design of ISP Venture Star from the James Cameron's Avatar franchise follows the same logic. If you notice, the Venture Star also has a thin middle section, just like the Nebulon B frigate. So if we assume that Nebulon B uses a propulsion system that emits radiation, for example maybe it has a nuclear reactor at its back section, then its design reveals itself to be somewhat realistic, at least structure-wise. Of course, both Nebulon B and Discovery 1 would be even more realistic if they had heat radiators, just like the ones we see on one of the covers of 2001 A Space Odyssey novelization, or like the ones we see on ISV Venture Star. Does the Nebulon B design make sense for a military starship, though? In Star Wars, space battles happen at a very close range, so we might assume that its design is impractical. But as Children of the Dead Earth game predicts, real space warfare would take place at large distances, so a target with a smaller surface area, like the Nebulon B with its thin middle section, would be a lot harder to hit when compared to ships of larger spatial volume and surface area. In that case, there is, once again, some reasoning behind Nebulon's form. So even though Nebulon B is a fictional starship, designed with aesthetics in mind, it could be argued that some aspects of its design do contain an element of realism, which further adds to the appeal of this iconic ship.